Hey guys, in this video I have two really big announcements that I want to make. The first one is that we're going to have a new series on the channel in which we cover vocabulary. Now this series is going to be very similar to the Final Fantasy VII uh, remake series that you might be familiar with, however we're just going to have a focus on vocab. We're still going to go through every single line, we're still going to review grammar uh, and learn every single piece of language in the sentence, but our focus and our goal is going to be vocabulary. And so what I've been thinking lately is that I really want to kind of make a series that's not so heavy for my editing, right? Right now, I need to write down the entire script, I need to write down the entire furigana, I need to translate the entire game, uh, I need to put it all on the screen, I need to format it correctly. Um, there's a world of different things I need to do to make the videos the way they are right now, and it takes a really long time. And so what I'm thinking is to kind of change the format for this series. This will allow me to access so many different games, um, you know, play any game, really, absolutely any game that you guys are interested in, I'll be able to play that. So I'll be able to give a huge variety on the channel, but the most important reason is that we can actually access more Japanese. Because the Japanese that we see in Final Fantasy VII Remake, for example, is limited to the Final Fantasy VII Remake world. We will see words like terrorist and explosion and magic and monsters and things like that. But we're not going to be learning much about classrooms. We're not going to be learning much about politics. We're not going to be learning much about Yakuza or, 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 or real life places or restaurants or food. We're not going to be learning all of that language because that's not really in the Final Fantasy VII. And so my goal with this new series, which I haven't yet decided what I want to call it, probably something like, I don't know, a game gango let's learn, uh, sounds weird, Game Gengo vocab series. I've seen some people say Kotoba Quest would be cool and I like that, but it's a little bit similar to another channel that already exists, which is Japanese Quest. And so I don't really want to be, you know, taking away from his branding. Um, so I'm trying to think of something that I can use that doesn't involve the word quest. <laughs> um, maybe like Kotoba Collection or something like that. That might be interesting. I'm not sure. Anyway, the goal of the series is that we're going to be collecting vocab. So we're going to start all over from scratch. Now, this is going to be the only time in the entire channel's history that we're going to do this reset, okay? The reason why I'm going to reset our known vocab is because I started to create the Final Fantasy VII Remake series um, with really just thoughts on just doing that. I wasn't thinking about making any other series or really any other videos, and now my ambition for the channel and goal for the channel and hopes for the future are much bigger than just Final Fantasy 7 Remake and so it would be weird to kind of change Final Fantasy 7 Remake, the story, the way it is, you know, it's, it's really its own separate thing, it's kind of a love letter to Final Fantasy 7, we go through translation and all that kind of stuff, um, so th I'm just going to leave that series as it is, okay, we're going to keep on going through Final Fantasy 7 and the words are going to be only from the words there, right, everything that we cover, but this series we're going to start new. Now, we're going to start from zero, so we're going to have some review of different words, but not that much review because, you know, it is different games, we're going to be seeing different vocabulary, uh, and, you know, always going to get that um, grammar review. But the really cool thing about this series is that, for example, um, right now you can see on the screen that we have a game, and instead of typing all of the language and putting it all on the bottom of the screen, what I'm now going to do is actually use the actual in-game text and use that text. I don't know why I didn't think of doing it before, but that's what I'm going to do now. So I can simply just change the actual color of the text in the actual game, and then that will allow us to actually highlight words. I can zoom in, zoom out, so we can use that actual text that's gonna save me a huge amount of work, and it's you know gonna keep it in the world of the video game. I don't have to blur anything out or cover anything up. Um, so I think it's gonna look really nice, it's gonna be really good, and if I want, I can put a word on the screen. For example, we see this uh, clip, and we see an example that I've highlighted. Well, I can then, you know, put up more information, more examples on the screen. That doesn't take too much time um, and it helps you guys. But also something that I really like is you may have noticed in um, the past couple of movies that I've made, I've been including the subtitles. Now, there is something magical that you can do with these subtitles and I wanna show you exactly how um, this series is going to utilize subtitles. So, I'm not gonna be doing Furigana uh, or the English translation every single time on the screen. 
However, I will be uh, including subtitles for um, the whole series that we cover from all the games we cover. I'll be showing exactly the language that we're going to cover in the subtitles. And so you can kind of choose your own difficulty by choosing whether you actually want to turn on the subtitles or not. This means that if you see a kanji, um, for example, here we have an example, and maybe you don't know how to say that kanji, right? You don't know how to read that kanji, and if you don't hear me correctly, you're not learning. So, what we're going to do to fix that is right here, if you just go, for example, in this video that I have from Final Fantasy VII Chapter 3, if you press uh, play in a video, so this is a big bad example because I have done the footigana. I've put in <laughs> the days and days of work to get it to work. But this new style, all you need to do is click this subtitle button right here and then turn on the Japanese. Okay, so now you can see the Japanese. Cool, but that doesn't really help you much, right? It's the same Japanese. Wrong. All you need to do is download the browser extension. There are two really good ones. One is called here Rikai Champ. This is great, but even better than Rikai Champ is Yomi Chan. Now, Yomi Chan is freaking amazing, okay? And I'll show you why. So, just by highlighting the mouse over this word, and then just holding down the key or whatever, you can do highlight, you can set it up however you want. I've done it to shift. Just by holding shift, I can now see the definition for that word with the subtitles, <laughs> okay? So I can see the definition, I can see the reading right here, it's hotondo, right? For example, here, I don't know what this word is. How do I say this word? You just highlight it and you can see that it's skull. And you can even see a definition. It means to use, to make use of something. Oh my god. So now you're actually able to access the language in the video games that we cover. So it doesn't just have to rely on what editing I do to give you that information. You can be in control of that information. You can be in control of the English, the, the Furiana and everything. So I think this is going to be a really exciting and interesting way um, of you know continuing the vocab series. But it doesn't just end there. The amazing thing about this application, this uh, Yomi-chan um, browser extension, is that you can actually make Anki decks with the single click of a button. And it's incredibly easy. All you need to do is install Yomi-chan into your browser, okay? Then, uh, in Anki, all you need to do is go to the add-ons right here and install Anki Connect. Okay, the very, very easy add-on. Um, there's no, it's not difficult at all to get this add-on. You just install Anki Connect to your Anki and you install Yomi-chan to your browser. This will now allow you to just hover over the word and now you see these two new buttons appear. All you have to do is click this big button and it will add the whole word with the kanji to your Anki deck automatically. Oh instant okay so for example let's do it right now let's go to skull to use and we're just going to add a card boom done so you can see now that it's grayed out okay now it knows that we have that card already in our deck so you can actually use this to collect language for yourself to actually see what words you've learned what words you don't to make anki decks uh anki cards and so this is a very simple and useful way to actually make use of this vocab series okay and so i'm going to be making the episodes with the kind of assumption that everyone's using yomi chan um, to be able to do the readings if you want but if you're using your phone and you can't use yomi chan that's okay you can still turn on the subtitles uh, and see the text on the screen if you want or you can just go with whatever i have for um, on screen explanations but this this will just enable you to really access that language touch that language use that language um you can copy this you you can now you know copy and paste um it's an amazing thing. You can also automatically make Anki decks with subs to SRS, the program. If you don't know what that is, I highly recommend uh, looking that up on YouTube. There's a ton of resources on how to make uh, decks with it. It's really simple. All it does is it just uses the subtitles with the video file and then automatically generates um, a whole Anki deck from that one piece of subtitle and video. So you can do so much with these subtitles. And so that's what I'm gonna be including in this video series so that you can have and access the language. So already that sounds pretty good, but 
it doesn't end there. So thanks to an absolutely amazing man on our Discord server, Elro, this wizard has created a database of all of the language that we have in our videos. Okay, so it's pretty much like a website for Game Gango, but it's just in a spreadsheet. It's freaking incredible. So let's have a look here. I'm going to be sharing this with every single video so we can see exactly, um, you know, what language we've covered. So here we have uh, the front page for the Final Fantasy VII series. Now, as I said, Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be a separate thing from this vocab series, okay? So we're gonna have a separate spreadsheet for the two series. But this is Final Fantasy VII Remake that we've got. And so here we can see uh, the kind of overview of the series. So we have, this is chapter one, here's chapter two, here's chapter three. We can see the episodes, episode one, two, three, four. We even have a link to that episode. So we can just click on this link and go straight to the episode. We have the duration. We can see how long the episodes are. We can see the Anki deck that is attached to that episode if you want to download it for yourself, if you don't want to make your own. We can even see the rolling total of the words that we've been learning along the way. <laughs> okay, so already it's incredible. Next, though, we have just this, just what? Like mind-blowing amazingness. We have a formula here on the spreadsheet that counts all of the words and checks what JLPT level those vocabulary are. Okay, <laughs> this is amazing because we can see here, for example, the last movie, we can see here that we have 12 and 5 words, 13 and 4, 42 and 3, and so on. So this is going to actually give you direct feedback of how much of the JLPT you're actually learning with this series, how many new words, but also how many unique words that are even beyond uh, the JLPT. For example, um, in this movie, we had 89 other words that don't actually exist in the JLPT. So, you know, we're learning like half even higher language and half in the JLPT. So it's a really amazing thing but we can also see the percentage breakdown <laughs> of how much of the JLPT we've studied. What? <laughs> so already, if you've been following the Final Fantasy VII Remake series, you can see right here exactly how much of the JLPT vocabulary you have already learned, okay? So if you are a complete beginner, okay, and you've only been watching my series and you haven't do, been doing any other study, that's, that's very, you know, limited, but if, if, if that's the case for you, you have already learned 28% of N5 for the vocab, 20% of N4 for the vocab, and 15% of the N3 for vocab, and then 5 and 4% for the N2 and N1. What? So that's amazing. So you can actually see your progress. And this is getting onto um, exactly what my plans are for this vocab series. I want to cover everything. Because I was thinking about it, right? I've got the grammar series where we cover all of the grammar. We have the big movies where we cover every piece of grammar. Then we have the small ones where we go into further detail for the more trickier pieces. Okay, that's done. But what about the kanji? Well, again, kanji, I said in the last video, we're going to be doing in a similar way to the grammar. And um, we're going to be breaking it down and having a look at the kanji and learning it in context. And I'm really excited for that next N5 kanji video. I think it's going to be really impressive. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. That's the next thing coming up that's probably going to come out in February. However, what about uh, vocabulary? We don't have any kind of dedicated series for vocabulary. And a vocab video, like let's learn N5 vocab, it sounds a little bit boring, right? But this is so much cooler. This is going to be a journey through video games. And we're going to be learning lots of different contexts, lots of different uses of language. We're going to be getting lots of review, but we're also going to be collecting all of these words and seeing exactly how much you've been learning. So with the vocab series, I'm going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be seeing episode one, episode two, episode three, and we'll see how much of the JLPT we've learned. However, one really cool thing about uh, this vocab series is, so, for example, let's just say for episode one, I play Final Fantasy VIII, okay? At the end of that episode, I will give you some suggestions for games that you might be interested in. For example, uh, maybe if you want, I could cover Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, or maybe I could cover uh, Yakuza 7, or maybe I could cover Persona 5, for example, okay? What I'll be doing is at the end of every episode, 
you guys can write whatever game you want to see covered next, like episode two next, right? Right away next, okay? And whoever has the highest thumbs up on that video game, that is what I will create for the next episode. And so we kind of have this kind of constant change that's dictated by the community for what game we're going to be covering next. So we might go Final Fantasy VIII one episode, then Chrono Trigger the next episode, then Yakuza 7 the next episode, then Metal Gear Solid the next episode, then some weird visual novel the next episode, right? We can cover anything and everything, okay? And my goal is to collect everything. I'm going to get N5 to 100, N4 to 100, N3 to 100, N2 to 100, and maybe even N1 to 100. Um, I want to collect it all. Okay, so with this series, that is the goal. We are going to get every single piece of Japanese vocabulary. We're going to be learning it through context with all of these different video games, and we're going to be recording that progress right here in this spreadsheet. So you can see your progress, and you can see exactly how much you're learning with the series, but you can also review. So on the next page, we have the vocabulary sheet. So this is where all of the actual information is from the episode. So we can see the word that we've learned. For example, this is from episode one of Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we can see Iku, the word meaning to go. And it says here in the definition, to go. And it says here that it's a JLPT and five level word. <laughs> um, and this is all uh, what's going to be done to this this amazing man, this incredible man has created this for us um, and, it's, and it's just incredible. So thank you Elro uh, for all of your work. This is just mind blowing and it fits so perfectly uh, with the vocab series that we're now going to be doing. So please make use of this, uh, it's absolutely incredible. And so just like before, you can see the JLPT breakdown here, how many words we've learned, but you can even filter by chapter, episode or JLPT level, right? So if you just click on here, you only want to see words, maybe maybe you skipped out on chapter two, right? So you can just turn everything off, only chapter two, and now you can see every word that we've learned in chapter two. So you can do like a review to actually see, you know, how much you've missed out on. Maybe you want to actually have a look at the video because there's some words you do know or you don't know. Um, so this will really enable everyone to make the most out of the channel. Uh, it'll allow everyone to really Instead of just like, because I understand, not everyone has seen all of my Final Fantasy VII episodes, right? It's tough. It's it's 18 hours, according to the front here, 18 hours of, of, of language study, right? That's already a huge commitment. I totally get that. Um, but with this spreadsheet, you're actually going to be able to kind of figure out like, okay, I missed episode, let's say I missed episode 20, 21, and 22. What did I actually miss out on? Let's have a look right? And here you can actually make that educated decision on whether you want to see that episode to actually learn some of this language or whether you just want to, you know, review here and be like, okay, cool. I'm ready to keep on going on with the series. I can skip those episodes because I already know all of this words. So it's just life-changing, amazing, and it's going to be incredible for the future of this channel. Um, we're going to have, you know, this constant variety of different games, every single episode uh, that's going to be chosen by you guys, whatever you guys want, that's what we're going to cover. And so, you know, you can choose any kind of game. As long as I have it, um, I will be able to use it. Obviously, if it's some game I don't have, I won't be able to make uh, that video, but uh, I have quite a lot of games. So we'll see, we'll see if you guys can, you know, uh, find any games that I don't have, um, but you know, if, if not, if it's a game people really want, I might, I might just buy it so we can cover it with the series anyway. And so this is going to be really exciting, really interesting, and I hope you guys are all really looking forward uh, to this series. And please make use of this uh, spreadsheet database for Game Ganga. So thank you very much everyone for all of your support and I hope you look forward uh, to this vocab series. I'm very much looking forward to it myself. And now I just need to decide what game am I going to do first? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, there's no voice acting. Maybe Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, just because it's something different. It's kind of anime. We haven't done that yet. Mm, we'll see. Let me know uh, in the comments below if there's a game you want to see covered first. And, and if I can, I might try and cover that game for the first episode or maybe episode two. So, as always, thank you very much for all of your support, thank you for enjoying the series, and I hope I can continue to help you learn Japanese in a fun way through video games. See ya.